Welcome back to Bree's Books. I'm Brianna and I have another book haul. I know what you're thinking, Brianna, you just did a book haul and unboxing like last week and I would tell you you're right, audience, because I did. But those clips were all from like a long time ago and I just gotten around to like editing and putting out the video. So really I haven't really bought that many books like in that short span of time. It just seems like that because that's how it got uploaded. But, but so I just have a slightly smaller-ish book haul for you today, at least for me, and unboxing from Bookcase Club for the month of August, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. The first few I got from the dollar store, because dollar store is a magical place, I've decided where that, you know, occasionally has good books now, and like YA stuff, and it's exciting. Um, the first book is Toxic Heart by Theo Lawrence. I don't know the first book, but it was a dollar at the dollar store, so I was like, hey, I can get the first book sometime, because this is a dollar, so I wanted to get it. This is a sequel to Mystic City. Uh, so, yeah, I picked it up. This next one I'd never heard of before, but it sounded really good. This is called Moth and Spark by Anne Leonard. It's, I believe, some kind of fantasy novel with magic. I think it might be an adult novel. I don't know, science fiction, fantasy, it just sounds good, and the cover's really cool looking, so I wanted to try it. <clears throat> then I found Letters from Sky by Jessica Brockmull. I've heard good things about this one, and it's uh, been on my TBR for a while, so I was happy to see it for a dollar. Then I found a contemporary called Not Exactly a Love Story by Audrey Columbus. Columbus? Grab that. The next one I got is a sudden, a sudden light by Garth Stein. This is the author of *The Art of Racing in the Rain*, um, which is like the dog biography book or whatever. And this sounds good. This is like um, a family drama fictional story, and the cover is gorgeous. I've been, um, it's been in my peripherals uh, for a while, and so when I saw it for a dollar, I decided to buy as well. I've heard really, heard really good things about this author, too, so I'm excited to get into it. <clears throat> Next, I have Black Watch by Jenna Burtonshaw. This is the sequel to uh, Shadow Cry by her, and I already have the first book, amazingly, so now I have the first two. That hardly ever happens. Um, and the rest of these, except for the unboxing, is from... The thrift store. <clears throat> got quite a few classics in here, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I got Bambi by Felix Salton. This is a classic story. I like, I really like the Disney movie, so the, the book, the actual book didn't look so, too long. It's like less, it's like about 150 pages, so I thought it might be a fun book to try out. And then I found actually a manga at the thrift store, which never happens. This is volume one to um, Alice in the Country of Clover, Cheshire Cat Waltz. I actually already got this, um, the second volume of this in a previous book haul. So now I can read it without having to check the first volume out from the library. So just looks like a fun kind of shoujo Alice in Wonderland retelling um, manga. So it looks like it's gonna be fun. And then I found Maid Marian by Elsa Watson. This is a Peter, uh, not Peter Pan retelling, wow, uh, Robin Hood retelling. And I've never heard of a Robin Hood retelling um, by, from Maid Marian's point of view. So obviously I'm interested in that character. And my only frame reference for Robin Hood is like the stories I've heard and the Disney movie. I haven't actually like read any Robin Hood um, text before, so this should be interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm interested. And then I found some lovely Junior Deluxe Editions with some cool, fun covers of children's classics. First one is Tales from Shakespeare, and I'm feeling that this is probably going to be abridged because it's like for children. But I still thought the cover was adorable, and it has all kinds of Shakespeare 
um, plays in it in novelization form, obviously. Um, and this is by uh, Charles and Mary Lamb. It was written, so, or adapted by. And I'm pretty sure it has, like, pretty much all of the stories in there. Quite a bit of them. So, this, since I'm not a big Shakespeare person, I thought that this would be cool to kind of get the stories without having to sludge through all the old school dialect that I don't understand. <laughs> so I got this. And then I got Christmas Stories the, by uh, Charles Dickens and possibly some other people. Um, really cool illustration in the front. It includes A Christmas Carol, The Chimes, and The Cricket on the Hearth. And they are all by Charles Dickens. So, I've never read A Christmas Carol, amazingly, so I definitely want to do that. And I can't wait to read these at Christmas. <clears throat> and then I found one that I've been wanting to read for a while, and that is Heidi in this cover by Johanna Spiri. Spiri? I'm gonna go with that. And I love the Shirley Temple movie of this, and so I thought it would be good to read the book. And that's the illustration, it's beautiful. So I'm really happy to have this. And the last thrift store book I have to show you is a classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs um, from Derrydale Books. I just really liked the illustrations of this. I thought it was really cute. And it even has like an old fashioned looking library card thing in there. And it just has, oh, I just loved it. I just love the illustrations. It's a really big font, but the illustrations are so beautiful, and I love collecting fairy tale, fairy tale books, obviously. So, I basically had to get it. So that's the last um, opened book I have for you, and now I can do my bookcase club unboxing for the month of August. I'm really excited. I hopefully don't have any of these, but hopefully have heard of them at the same time. We'll find out. It's here or miss with Bookcase Club, like, sometimes I've heard of them, sometimes I have them, sometimes I haven't heard of them. I also didn't bring my knife out, so now I don't know how I'm going to open this. Okay, got it. Alright, so... I have not heard of these. A book should be read in youth, again in maturity, and once more in old age by Robertson Davies. Okay. That's the card that comes with it. Um, and then it says, school is back in session. You have a, f a new schedule to get used to. Early mornings, late night practices, and study sessions. But taking some time for yourself is good for the mind, and reading our last picks of summer is a good way to spend that time. Happy reading, Melissa. So basically, this is our their summer picks, their last summer picks before school starts. And they always personally sign the cards, and then it has the two books and the um, descriptions. So the first book we have is this, like a huge book. The first book we have is The Doubt Factory by Paolo Bacigalupi. Balupi? I feel like I should recognize that author, but I don't know for sure. The tagline is, you believe what they want you to believe. So it sounds like some kind of thriller, mystery, dystopian maybe? It's a pretty chunky one, so that might be interesting. And the second one is called Dear Killer by Catherine Ewell. Perfect in her methods, precise in her madness. So I'm getting like an OCD vibe from this maybe? Sounds like a teen serial killer that this is about. So I, I don't even know what to think. I guess I'll have to just go in and see what happens because I'm kind of terrified of these books. 
that's not at all what I normally read, but busted out of my comfort zone this month, I guess. The dust jacket, the under jacket is pretty cool though. And the cover is pretty, pretty neat. I love black and red together. But I'm a little wary of these. They sound kind of, kind of creepy. Not really what I normally read, but, um, yeah. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so thank you so much, Bookcase Club, for another awesome box. I'm intrigued, to say the least, of this month's boxes, and um, I can't wait to see what else you guys come out with. Glad uh, on to my book haul. I went to Hastings today, and I got a few things, because as you may or may not know here in the Americas, Hastings is closing, and Hastings is a wonderful chain of goodies and all all um geekery types come together in a wonderful location and they're closing their doors uh by halloween and it's very sad but the temporary plus side is that they have sales on everything in their store so i did get some books mostly manga actually i'm on a bit of a kick lately so i'm pretty excited um so yeah we'll get right into it and then i'll add this add my other clip on to the end of this clip or whatever or whatever um so the first and only novel i actually got this time was dragon singer by ann mcgaffrey this is the second book in the harper hall trilogy i already have the first book uh dragon song up there somewhere blah 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 um and i've heard good things about this series so when i saw it for a good price, I picked it up. Um, and then the rest of these are all mangas. Uh, graphic novel thingies. Um, the first two of those category is kind of go together. Both from the um, Alice series by Quinn Rose and art by a couple different people. Um, one from Alice in the Country of Clover, a Nightmare, and one from, and one called Alice Love Fables Toy Box, which is a bunch, basically a bunch of short stories from all the, the series by this author, I guess. I dropped my book, that's okay. Um, apparently this is like a ginormous series, the Alice, um, manga series is just huge. I have some volumes already. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read them in a certain order or not, but these seem like kind of ind more independent ones, so I might start with these and see if I even like it. Um, but they are like in basically new condition, but they were marked as used, so they're really a lot cheaper than full price. And so I grabbed them because apparently I'm collecting this series now even though I haven't started reading it yet. But the art looks awesome, and who doesn't love a good Alice in Wonderland retelling, am I right? And then the next thing I picked up is called High School Debut, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. This is the three-volume bind-up story and art by Kazun Kawahara. This is just basically a shoujo beat uh, high school, like, contemporary manga that sounded cute. And it was a good deal for three volumes, and I bought it new, and it was actually... A little bent here is, is in worse condition than the used stuff, but I couldn't resist because it was a three-in-one and it was a really good price, so I got that. And the next two I was excited to find, they are volumes two and three of the Avalon High Coronation uh, manga series by Meg Cabot. They are the continuation of her... Avalon High novel, which is one of my favorite books, probably my favorite book by her that I've actually read. Um, and so the three manga volumes just continue off the ending of the story. They didn't have the first one, but I have two and three, so I figured I could get the first one from the library. I think I started the first one, but didn't end up finishing it because the art style kind of weirded me out because I had like picture of the characters in my head like this from reading the novel and then the art just was like obviously more manga looking 
Uh, but I think I'm going to try it anyways because I kind of want to know what happens. And I really want to reread this book, so it'll be a good excuse to do that. And so, yeah, I'm excited for these. So these are all the reading me materials I picked up at my last trip tastings today. I was there for like three hours, people. <laughs> Researching, comparing prices, thorough, thorough investigations, because uh, all their uh, graphic novels and used books were 40% off. So yeah, I needed to make sure I could find everything that there was to find, and I'm sure it'll only be there longer every time I go because the sales are going to get more and more reduced and yeah the percentages are going to get more and more reduced and yeah so expect more book hauls from Hastings until they close on October 31st of this year <sighs> go check out your local Hastings with while you can if you live in America find your nearest Hastings because you don't have that much time left to enjoy them before they're gone and there are some great deals right now check them out Hello booktube, so it's the next day and I basically um, went back to Hastings but not the one I went to the day before, I went to the other one because there's two Hastings near me so I went to the other one to check out their selection and got a smaller stack of books, it's not as big as the last one um, but yeah, and I went to some thrift stores and stuff uh, so yeah, I have back-to-back, -back, uh, book haul days. This is a great, great time. So I'm just gonna add this on to my other clip, and let's go ahead and show you what I got. Have you guys ever accidentally bought books? Yeah, no, neither have I. <laughs> just checking, just thought it would make sure it wasn't gonna be just me. Okay, so the first book I got was Dream Factory by Brad Barkley and Heather Hepler. I've only heard one person really talk about this, and they said it was good, and basically it's a YA book that takes place in Disney World with, like, the face characters. That's all I need to know. It has Cinderella's freaking shoe on the front. Of course I'm going to read this. I mean, come on. Coffee chapters, Basket Casey reads. Just check this out. It's gonna be a good time. Disney World YA story. Yes. Next, I picked up Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris... Grabenstein, Stein, something. This is a middle grade read with like puzzles and stuff in it. Uh, not in it, but it's like a story about kids get trapped in the library and have to like solve puzzles or something. Games. I heard it was really cute, so I want to read it. And it's about a library, so there you go. The next book I have here is called The Spring Suite by Sandra Mitchell. This is the sequel to the um the sequel companion book i guess to the vespertine i have that book i have not read it yet but now i have the uh sequel companion so i can just read them back to back to back and they're not super long so i really should get on that next i have one i've been interested in for a while and that is hattie big sky by kirby larson this actually won a newbury honor book award um and I always see like the conclusion book to this series on like sale really cheap um, but I never found the first one for cheap and now I finally did and it's in like basically almost new condition so I'm excited to read it. So then at the uh, at one of the thrift stores I found The Replacement by Brenna Yobanoff. She was recently on the latest Book Battles, if you didn't watch that, Book Battles is a Booktube's very own game show hosted over at Kale's Corner. You should really watch it. They do an episode every month, once every month. And she was on here, and she's an author I've been wanting to pick up for a while. And then I saw this right after watching her on Book Battles, so it was idyllic. And yeah, this is like a changeling story, fairy changeling story. It seems kind of gruesome, so I'm kind of terrified of this cover, but we'll see what happens. This is The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff. And then at um, the library used shelf, I found The Princess and the Opal Mask, which has a lovely cover, cover by Jenny Lundquist. And this font's pretty big, and it's only like 350 pages. But it's like, you know, 
fantasy about a princess doing some stuff, taking names, kicking butt, all that niceties. I haven't really heard much about this, but cover sold me. Then I found this adorable antique edition of Grimm's Fairy Tales and Anderson's Fairy Tales. It's like a flipping book story. It's called the Companion Library series. There's like a bunch of these at the thrift store that, that were like part of the whole series. This is the only one I really was interested in. Um, because I'm a collector of fairy tales as we all hopefully know by now. And so I'm excited to add this to my collection. It's adorable. And then I found a couple children's books I picked up. Um, the first one is it's Valentine's Day by Jack Prilutsky. Um, pictures by Yossi Abolafia. Wow, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Um, Jack Prilutsky is famous for his children's poetry of like really funny quirky poems. This one just happens to revolve around Valentine's Day and I just thought it would be cute to have to read around Valentine's Day. That's all. It's really, really short. Really, really big words and pictures and stuff and it's cute. And then I found two other books from the Olivia series. Uh, the first one is Olivia. Obviously, this is the original. And the second one is Olivia and the Fairy Princess. And these are both by Ian Falconer, it looks like. Written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. So that's really cool. You rarely see books illustrated and written by the same person. So I got these two. I, um, read through them basically while I was just standing in the store because I hadn't really heard of these before like I'd seen them around but I didn't really know what they're about and they're super cute I know I'm gonna love reading these to my kids when I have kids because they are great for young kids um and these were like almost brand new condition hardback for like less than a dollar each so those are all of the books I got yesterday slash today or whatever uh hopefully I can upload this book haul before I buy any more books